How fast can I explain the basics of calculus one? Well, let's find out. So you start by learning about limits in calculus and limits you can solve by plugging in this if your function is defined. But notice if we plug in this negative two that we actually get an undefined, we get zero over zero, which means we're gonna have to use a different method to solve this limit. So how can I do this? Well, I can do this using factoring. So if I factor a six out of this X term and I factor a six out of this 12, what I'm gonna end up with is this term right here, six times X plus two, because I factored that six out. Now I need to factor this bottom expression. And I can do that by thinking about what terms are going to add to give me that three and multiply to give me that two. And if I think about it, two and one will do just the trick. So I can factor that bottom expression by taking x plus two times x plus one, because two and one will add to give me three and multiply to give me two. If you refoil these expressions back together, you'll get this one. Now, what I can do from here is I can cancel the x plus twos, leaving me with just this expression right here. So from here, take this negative two and plug it in for x. So if I do that, I'll get six over negative two plus one, which is six over negative one, which is the same thing as negative six. So negative six is the answer to this limit right here. Now let's talk about derivatives. There's a very common rule called the power rule. The power rule works whenever you have a plus or a minus between your x terms, assuming you're with respect to x. All you have to do for the power rule is take whatever's on the exponent, multiply it by the front of your expression, and then subtract one from the exponent, which is what we've done right here. Here's a worked out example of the power rule. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. We also need to talk about the product rule. The product rule happens when you have two functions being multiplied. The product rule works by taking the derivative of your first term times your second term plus the derivative of your second term times your first term. Here is a worked out example of the product rule. Notice here that this g term was the sine of x. We assigned this to be g, we assigned this to be f. But notice that the derivative of g is cosine of x. That's something that you're just going to have to know. If you take these derivatives, you plug it back into this expression, you'll get this final expression down here. The quotient rule works very similarly, and this happens when two terms are divided. All you have to do is find the corresponding derivatives and plug it into that formula. Here's a worked out example if you want to reference it. Now finally, we're going to talk about the chain rule, but you definitely want to make sure you know this one. The chain rule works by taking the derivative of the outside multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So if we want to take the derivative of this right here, well, the derivative of cosine is actually negative sine and then we'll keep the inside term the same. Now what we wanna do is multiply this by the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of 10x, that's just gonna give you 10. And then whenever you take a derivative of a constant term like negative one, that's just gonna be zero. So this entire expression will disappear, so we'll just have to put a 10 on the outside here, because the derivative of this inside is 10, so we have the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. This is how you do the chain rule right here. Also here are the common derivatives that you're gonna do throughout calculus one. That was a basic introduction to calculus.